I have already prepped and sanded this 20 ounce skinny from Makerflow. If you don't know how to prep and sand a tumbler, I have a link in the description below to my tumbler prep video for you. So check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna be using universal white. Guys, my universal white is a little thicker than it should be because my lid did not go on well and so yeah looks a little clumpy but i'm gonna make it work um darn hate that that happened but you know how the lids get a little crusty on the edges sometimes well that's what happened and my lid wasn't snapping on firmly so that is not a good thing probably gonna have to allow a lot of extra dry time on this one because it's on there pretty darn thick yeah make sure your lids are on tight i thought that mine was but obviously it wasn't see my lids kind of crusty in there in the edges here i'm just applying a second layer of universal white and again because it's so thick i'm gonna need to allow extra dry time all right so i am going to be using these bombay india inks okay you guys the other day i shared a tutorial with you and um, it was the hawaiian sunset that i painted the vinyl use these same bombay india inks and i had a lot of comments people maybe mistaking them for alcohol inks these are different these are pigment based whereas alcohol inks are dye based alcohol inks will fade over time pigment based inks like this the Bombay India inks will not fade over time. Just know that if you're using alcohol inks with Crystallac products, you have to allow 48 hours of gas off time before you can start putting your bright tone on. I've got some water set here because I want more of a watercolor look on here. My tumbler has been coated with two very thick layers of um, Universal white, you saw what happened with that. So just dipping in, the thing about um, universal white, you are gonna see the brush streaks, brush strokes, um, but it, I'm not like freaking out about it or anything. I'm just going at it. No rhyme or reason here other than I just wanna have like a large portion of my tumbler covered with pink. And then here I just moved on with the blue, just kind of blending those colors together, creating a little bit of a purple color there where they mix. You can really just play around with these inks and you know dipping it in the water can lighten them or just dipping straight into the product is full strength obviously just play around with them get this tumbler exactly how you want it and um, you can kind of blow around on them a little bit to move them a little but yeah it's just totally up to you how you want it to look Okay, I'm gonna go set this in front of my heater and just let this dry for a little bit as l until just the inks feel dry to touch and then I can move on. Okay, these um, Bombay India inks are nice and dry. So now then I am going to put my first layer of bright tone on. I'm using a brush just because I'm gonna be touching other things afterwards, but as you all know by now, hopefully, it is totally okay to use your hands to apply this. I'm being a little bit more generous with this layer because I'm about to use um, liquid micas on it as well. And hopefully you know this as well, but if not, um, putting a little bit more generous layer will help my liquid micas to flow better. Okay, I'm gonna use um, a little medicine cup and squirt just a little bit of bright tone in here. And then I've got my silver 
liquid mica, the metallic mica from the Crystal Light -like store as well. And I am just putting a little bit, mixing it up just a little. I'm gonna put some into there. Stir that up. And then I'm gonna drizzle it. I think I'm gonna turn it the opposite way though. Just kind of randomly, it's not really drizzling very well. There we go. I was hoping to follow some of those veins. I'm gonna have to drag it a little. these out just a little bit. Okay, I may also um, grab a straw and try blowing on it a little. Sometimes it's hard to get the consistency right. After I got my liquid micas moved around and seemed pretty happy with the swirl and all, I then allowed four hours of dry time. I ordered whole bundle of what I thought was going to be foils and I'm grabbing all the rest of them. I thought these were going to be foils and um, this was all back during when we were gone for my father-in-law's funeral and it was late one night and I was online just searching and searching for foils and I came across this and I ordered it. Well, come to find out this is not foils, but it is a pack of HTV. I was, it was like two in the morning. So some really cool patterns here and I am choosing to use this blue cheetah print, leopard print, whatever you want to call it. I've already marked it. Um, I'm going to be doing a V split on here. So I've marked where I want to cut it. So really quickly, I'm going to cut this and then I am going to figure out how to apply it. Um, it's got the shiny, you know, heat transfer paper on the front. Got to figure that out. So going to cut it and then figure it out. I got out my heat gun and kept it on low and just barely applied heat because I know it's not a good idea to apply heat to Crystal Lac. Um, so this did not seem to work. It just kept peeling up and I didn't want to risk that. So I decided to just go ahead and use my glitter glue to apply it. I spread some onto the actual piece of HTV backing and slapped it on there and that really did seem to work. I just made sure that I pressed out all the excess glue and bubbles. I just made sure that it was straight and aligned and exactly in the position that I wanted it to be because we all know how quickly glitter glue starts drying. I then just used my glitter glue and went over the seams, the edges of all the vinyl and up around the lip and rim, made sure that was sealed up really well. And then I allowed this to dry for two hours. Once that glitter glue was nice and dry, I grabbed this silver holographic washi tape and just trimmed up the edges or the seams and pulled this all together and made it look a bit more cohesive. Now that my washi tape is in place, I'm going to seal it up with glitter glue. One, to seal down the edges, and two, to give my bright tone something to adhere to because holographic stuff, metalized stuff, tends to repel bright tone sometimes, so this will help prevent that. This one's getting its first coat of bright tone since um, putting on that holographic washi tape. And as always with Bright Tone, you need to allow four hours of dry time between each paper thin layer before you can move on to your next layer of Bright Tone. 
Okay, and now for my vinyl application or my saying that I'm putting on here. When I first started out with this tumbler, I know you probably were thinking it too. This is a really interesting combination, the cheetah print and the marbled look. Well, I came across this saying, stronger than the storm, and I thought that was just like a perfect fit for this tumbler. Um, you know, cheetahs kind of represent power, and so, um, the storm being the marbly look. I don't know, it just seemed like it really went well together in my mind, so that's what I'm putting on here, Stronger Than The Storm. I used two different vinyls, one, my white vinyl, um, Oracle 651 from Expressions Vinyl, and then the other is a permanent vinyl from HTV Rot. Once I got my vinyl on, I then applied my first layer of Bright Tone. Again, paper thin layers every four hours. I will do a level sand and a few more layers of Bright Tone before this thing is totally finished. Okay, so here it is and it is not 100% complete. I had a migraine knock me down and I have just not been able to function for the last few hours and this video is due to air in the morning so you're seeing it unfinished um, I got a little heavy with my last layer of bright tone so there is a little bit of orange peel and I'm just pointing this out because I don't want you to see it and think that I don't see it <laughs> um, you can see it on my um, holographic washi tape there but anyways I really just wanted to go ahead and get this one out to you and if you're in my Facebook group, I can show it to you 100% complete in a couple of days. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope that you will give those Bombay inks a try. They're a lot of fun. You can find them linked in my description below. Um, they're also in my Amazon storefront. But hope you um, have fun with it and just get creative, use whatever vinyl you want, an ink color combo. I really didn't even get to do my intro as I normally do, but I do hope that you will like, subscribe, comment, ring the notification bell, and as always, thanks so much for watching.